Hello, hope you're well. Today I'm going to attempt to make and try for the first time American style biscuits and gravy. You guys have wanted to see this for ages. Now being the English person I am, if you said biscuits and gravy to me, it would look a bit like this. Not that white colour that you get on American biscuits and gravy. Oh no. This is normally helped made with like juices from meats when you roast them. Oh ho ho ho! Tastes like sweet sawdust. I really think I'm gonna prefer the American version. So biscuits and gravy is an American breakfast dish uh, common in the South. It consists of soft dough biscuits. We got into that sort of debate about, hey, very American biscuits like scones kind of thing with the Starbucks scones recipe, right? Um, it's covered in a sawmill gravy, which is that white sort of roux style gravy. But apparently in the US, the gravy that we just referenced there, again with drippings of meat, a bit like this, is also fairly common. Because this is made with the drippings of uh, some sort of cooked pork or sausage or bacon uh, flour and milk so it's kind of like a white chunky meaty gravy flavored with drippings that gets drenched on top of the biscuits sorry I was out of focus then <laughs> <laughs> which is why the British person inside of me is kind of like no that sounds horrendous biscuits and gravy as you've just seen but actually when you think about it if we can get this right it could be rather nice especially for breakfast blimey alrighty so we'll make the biscuits aka the scones first so get yourself a big old bowl so the flour is gonna go in Baking powder, bicarb soda, and this is the buttermilk. So that's slightly acidic, milky, creamy stuff. If you just bring this together, you can see how the buttermilk is kind of like, hey, group hug, nice. It's like um, damp, but only slightly, like more tacky. It's not wet now. It's like a big confused tennis ball. So in the Starbucks video, there was this step that I said that I hate doing the knee, 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 when I rub flour into butter, which typically you do uh, with scones. Now the Starbucks scone, as we saw, made me grate the butter, which was awesome. It kind of all worked out quite well. I can maybe get away with it today, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm adding butter in right now. So what I'll do is use my favorite tool, the uh, pastry blender and break that butter into that mixture. Oh my gosh. Yeah, wow, that is a good amount of butter in there. Look at that, it's all kind of like consistent in a dough-like shape, ready for stamping out, which apparently just a glass is fine. All right then, folks, so it is kind of like an English scone recipe in some ways, because we're now cutting out discs like this, although we would normally just use a cookie cutter, and I'm sure other people do. There it is, look at that. The main difference in the recipe is there's no sort of sugar in there. Where we put buttermilk in instead of milk, that's probably the main other difference, and maybe some flavouring. Sometimes you put vanilla extract in there. But I'm really happy with that. Like I said, I've never tried these. I've been out in America a few times and never had the chance. I, I hope they're good. With this going as well, you probably brush the tops with milk just to give it a more golden colour. But apparently these bake for 10 minutes. Boston, guardian of the biscuits. And I nearly said scones. In they go. And we can start to think about the gravy and the toppings. Uh, so pork is gonna be our main meat, but we're also gonna have some bacon in there too, which I'll just fire up now. Apparently, ideally smoky streaked bacon. And hopefully smell very nice for me and for you. Ah, that's really, really hot. Well, I'm gonna just cut it up into little bacon ah, pieces. There's a teeny bit of oil left in the pan from the bacon, which we'll keep in there to help cook the pork in a minute. But I think these biscuits, I so want to keep calling them scones. I think they're ready. And they have browned as well. Check this out. Ah, oh, ha, hey. Yeah, that one right there in terms of shape is probably my favorite one. They're nice and warm, but we've got some work to do with it. He's cooled down. Let's do the pork and the gravy bits. Okay, so just out of shot, folks, I've got some more butter, milk, uh, and some plain flour, because we're gonna go roux style on the gravy, okay? Not kangaroo, we're gonna go Australian, we're gonna do a roux. But in here is some pork mince, we've got some salt, sage, thyme, paprika, cayenne, ginger, and some ground nutmeg. The only thing that isn't in there is some pepper, and apparently pepper is a really big part of this. So I'm gonna bring this all together with me hands. Nice. I'm gonna cook this up. Little side note, I've just washed my hands because I was absolutely freezing. I, don't, I kept the pork obviously in the fridge. Uh, yes, maybe use a spatula if you want, but I really wanted to make sure I pushed all of those flavors right into there. So uh, same old pan, we'll get it in there. 
and I'm really sorry to any Americans watching going, what the heck is he doing? I'm doing my best, all right? This is completely, like, completely out of my depth. Um, the pork is there, different color, all the staining. We've got a little bit of the oil here from the bacon and the first part of our butter, which with the residual heat in the pan is already starting to melt. So let's cook this up. It looks like a massive burger. Now all the fats and oils and juices that the pork is gonna emit is gonna go into our gravy. So we actually cook this up, but keep all of those juices in there. So that's the point we'll get to. Oh yeah. All right, fair play to it. I've got to say, it's starting to smell really nice. There we go, look at that. All nice and brown. So I'm taking that off the heat and just pushing that mince into it. I have been breaking it down. So we've left those juices in the pan. Here is our bacon from earlier that, to be fair, I didn't even need to cut it. It was so crispy, it kind of just flaked. Back on the heat. Oh my gosh, that smells awesome. These smells are amazing. The other butter is going in. Equal parts the butter to the flour, but remember we already had some in there already. So we just whisk this through. Try my best here, folks, all right? I'm fairly happy with it though. And now the milk. Ooh. Now this is where the gravy should come together. It will thicken up. Yeah, certainly, if you uh, <laughs> gave a British person this gravy right now, I know we've still got to add the meat in there, they'd be like, what? I can't explain to you the smells in the kitchen right now. They are phenomenally stonking right now. And we now dump in that flavoured pork. Oh, see, there's some of the oils there as well. Awesome. A few more of them has got in there as it's rested. And the bacon. And I believe we just stir this through to coat it. And that is starting to look very much like the images that I have seen. I actually just want to kind of eat this on its own. And I think I'll do that now. Oh my gosh, oh, I love the pepperiness to it. It almost tastes like a melted cheese. That is amazing. Mmm, the depth of the flavour. I mean, it, it looks a bit weird, doesn't it? But I'm really happy with that. And apparently the biscuits, we halve them and drench it. So uh, let's do it. Serrated knife. Oh, they're delicate and soft. I kind of want to try what this is like. Mmm. Oh, that is buttery and savoury. The scone side of me just wants a dollop, a load of cream and jam on it, but that's fine. And we get to drench it in that sauce right now. Oh my gosh. All right, so here we go. Uh, halved the biscuits. Is that a little thick? I don't know. Oh my goodness. This is so much better than UK style biscuits and gravy. <laughs> I think this might be my thumbnail. Does that sum it up? I'm um, part confusion part like this is devastatingly awesome. I don't know whether it just looks, uh, have I done something wrong? I don't know. Does that look, just look like cat food? I'm sure it is supposed to be like lumpy like that. I could have broken the meat down a little bit more, but I, I, I've got to eat it. Mmm. It's still just warm. I don't know if cold would be good. And for breakfast, although from a British person saying that you've seen like a British cooked breakfast, that's quite hearty for a breakfast. Mmm. It's like really wholesome and filling and you've got like the, the real depth of the flavour and the spices and the herbs. But then it's sort of mellowed out by this sort of smooth, like almost like creamy roux gravy sauce drenched on there. And then the calmingness of the biscuit is just kind of like a delicate, stodgy, buttery base to bring this all together. I'm genuinely gutted that I did not try this when I was over the pond. I'm going over the pond soon, actually. I know, I know I've probably made some mistakes, but this is perhaps for UK people to maybe give it a try too, and maybe clarify a little bit, because my understanding of the scone biscuit debate right now, other than sweetening it, or of course cheese scones, they are pretty much identical, except what you're putting on it is a whole new game, and I'm actually, actually loving it. So give it a go if you fancy it. I blooming love this, and I've got to try and hide it right now. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Ciao for now. Another British expert tries biscuits and gravy. Hmm. It's just like dumplings or a scone. It's like a mixture. I thought you wouldn't like that because of the pepper in it. Yeah, it's got quite a cake. <laughs> like just reading it now. Hmm. But probably... I guess you could adjust it. Yeah, and it probably tasted much nicer warm. <laughs>
Thank you so much to the names on the screen right now on Patreon for supporting me. We have just opened up a Discord. Uh, there's some Patreon exclusive perks and uh, space for everyone else too. If you fancy that and you are on Discord, go head on over and check it out. We'll put a link in the video description and also check out the link down below for a random video that YouTube has suggested. Ciao for now.